Hello everyone, it's Cindy again from Good Life Programs and Activities. And I'm here today to do a meditation with you. So this can be done laying down, sitting, wherever you're comfortable. Um, it's not a physical practice, it's um, a mental one. So feel free to do this at any point. I like to add this type of thing after my practice, after my physical practice. I will tell you in advance that we do have a beeping sound going on. So if you hear that, that's, I don't even know what it is, but it's gonna be happening. So I think you all know that in, this world today, we're being a little, um, or I'm feeling a little, I guess, stressed, and we're getting angry at people, and people are arguing. So this is a good meditation practice to do when you're feeling that, or when you feel like you're being pulled from people. So, have a nice, comfortable seat. It can look like anything you want. Relax the shoulder blades down. And we'll start by coming to our breath, bringing our attention there. And as always, when we practice, make sure that, or try, I shouldn't say make sure, try to bring your attention into the room, into your body, into your practice. It's normal for it to, your mind to go out and wander. It's normal to do other things. When you catch yourself doing that, just bring your attention back. You can always use your breath as an anchor. And for this one, you'll be following my voice. <clears throat> so again, a couple more breaths. So this is called the loving kindness meditation and I've changed it a little bit just to make it more accessible to people. So if you've done this type of practice before, this may be a little different. So we're going to start <clears throat> by thinking of someone that we very much care about. Someone who means a lot to you, someone who makes you feel valued and loved and wor worthwhile. And we're going to think some positive thoughts to them. And we're going to do this in a group of three. So have that person in your mind. And we're going to send these thoughts. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. And may you be filled with loving kindness. And three times. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be filled with loving kindness. Now we're going to think of someone that we feel neutral about. So maybe it's someone that we interact with often. Um, maybe like a driver or a cashier that you see often or your postal carrier or the FedEx guy you see often. Someone that you feel neutral about. So you don't really love this person, but you don't dislike them either. And we're going to offer them the same wishes. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be filled with loving kindness. Now let's think of ourselves. A lot of times we don't give ourselves the love and kindness we deserve. And we're going to change the wording slightly. So it's going to be, may I be well. May I be happy. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be filled with loving kindness. <clears throat> so now we're going to think of someone that we don't like all that much. Maybe someone who irks us, maybe someone who rubs us the wrong way. But we're still going to think positive thoughts to them. So may you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. 
May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be filled with loving kindness. And now we can broaden it out. So let's think of maybe our neighborhood or maybe our household. <clears throat> So it's more people this time. So may you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful and at ease, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful and at ease, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful and at ease, may you be filled with loving kindness. And from here, you can take this as far as you'd like. You can broaden it to your street, your neighborhood, your city. You can think of other people, maybe your coworkers or other people that you care about, or maybe other people who might rub you the wrong way, the planet, wherever you'd like to go. And the thought behind this is that if we offer someone good thoughts, then maybe we can shift our perspective of that person. Or maybe it's a group of people. So maybe take some time out of your day at any point and try to shift your perspective. I used to do this practice on a Sunday night before going to school. And I would think of all of my students. And I would think of all my coworkers. And sometimes if I had a lot of time, I would go person by person whether I was worried about them or really cared about them or whether they were really bothering me. Um, and sometimes I just thought of their classrooms or the school as a whole. So I found it was a good Sunday pra night practice to get me ready for the work day. So again, you can use this practice any time you need to spread good vibes. <clears throat> so I encourage you maybe write the saying down. Um, maybe you want a list of people to offer this to. And we always start out with someone you love, someone you're neutral, someone who you don't like all that much, yourself, and then from there broaden it outward. So I hope you guys are healthy and well and making good choices. Keep your mask on and keep your distance from everyone, please. And I hope to see you all again, hopefully in person soon. So I'll bring my hands together. Namaste.